welcome to our first editorial video for 2022. This month we're covering content management and distribution for hotels. Anne Cole, an industry veteran on this very topic, has co-authored the article together with Sarah Fultz. Make sure to have a read through that article if you haven't already. I think you'll find it very interesting. You know, content has always been a challenge for hotels over the years, ensuring it is relevant, updated and fresh has always been something that many have struggled with. Joining me in this video today together are Sarah Fultz from MGM Resorts and Gianna Rivera from Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, both who are very well versed on this topic and have a lot to offer in terms of what the problems have been and perhaps potentially how these can be resolved. Challenges typically lie in creating, managing, and distributing content across diverse channels and also interoperability between hotel systems and distributors. There is a lack of overall governance in relation to content. Others outside of the supplier circle have invested in content distribution and are doing better jobs of managing that content. Many hotels have the same images across room types and yet not enough images showcasing other aspects of their property and facilities. Images have notoriously been a problem for hotels and of course one blocker is the cost of those photo shoots and then especially during COVID this is something that potentially would have been put on hold again. However don't see this as a reason why images really can't be updated or even shouldn't be updated. Today's mobile phones have very powerful cameras that if used creatively can make amazing images and video. Consumers want to see what's important to them. Content has to constantly evolve via images and videos to ensure that the consumer's needs are met. So when the consumers look on brand.com, in theory they should see the same content that they would across all other channels. Yet for some reason this is still not happening. The third parties have done better jobs at this with better content than what is primarily seen on the hotel's websites. However, this is not the case for all hotels but it is for a large number. There are of course various channels where content needs to be managed and in theory content should be thought of by channel as it is managed differently for each. So for example brand.com, the call center, the OTAs, wholesalers, meta and of course GDS. Some would ask, is the ideal state that a hotel or corporate would have a CMS that would then feed all channels? Does or should this differentiate by size of the hotel? CMSs aren't perhaps a fit for smaller ones as opposed to larger ones. It is important for hotels and operators to really consider what solutions are available to them. So in order to best manage their content overall, the approach should be more holistic with the mindsets that systems need to share content data and information with no boundaries by bringing all parties together and finding a solution that best meets the industry needs. Let's now go to Sarah and Gianna and hear what they both as hoteliers have to say about this issue. So what are the current content management challenges and opportunities and whose engagement is needed where to improve the current status quo, Gianna? Yeah, I think the, the one of our biggest challenges in, in our um, hotel uh, a supplier perspective is is really the lack of governance, right? We have um, we understand that we have some work to do in terms of um, creating standards around our content, uh, creating standards around distribution. Um, I think in our ecosystem, online travel agencies have taken um, you know the lead, if you will, and um, using their technology, their investments. Uh, in, in you know to do so and um, with that being said it's put us in a very peculiar from a supplier perspective situation where we are having to understand what are the standards that they're using what, what what's the content that they are um, that they're leveraging and why and then sort of keeping up with the race right and um, and so what I feel that we probably need to do as an industry a better job is identifying a, a body that will give us the governance that we need around around content similarly to um, what the airlines have done, right? I think that that they have they have an advantage in terms of, you know, um, how they how they put, you know, somewhat um, uh, governance around um, content distribution and something that we could um, they certainly haven't mastered it by any chance, but I think they are ahead of us in that in that sense and that we need that we're lacking 
um, governance. I'll say that again and again and again, because I really do think that's where their biggest opportunity is for us. Sarah, what are your thoughts? Sure. So I think the biggest challenge we face is that consumers want to see what they care about. And so we have to constantly evolve content, whether it's keeping up with different images or videos. We have to, I think COVID taught us, we have to be on top of our outlets, opening and closing, the hours. And the third parties, as Gianna said, have really mastered this. Um, they keep adding content for us to update. And sometimes the third parties are more up to date than the hotel's website. So I think it's partly that we need to get people at the hotels to focus on content, creating the content, curating the content, getting the content audited, um, update and audited on those third party sites, as well as brand.com and really having that content parity. Consumers, as we know, go from site to site before they book. And we need to ensure that when they're looking at brand.com, they're seeing the same thing across all different channels. So let's move a little bit then across to the, the provider's side of it. You know, if you look at the industry as where, where we're sitting now, we essentially only have two image providers to update images to third party partners, those being Ice Portal and Leonardo. Is this working for our industry in that sense? Is this enough? Is it too many? Um, and are, in your opinions, any of the new CRSs, PMSs, uh, are they solving any of the content issues that um, that are being presented to us as an industry through their systems, specifically around images and video? And if not, should they perhaps start to look into this area? So I don't think there's a lot of money to be made uh, by becoming an image distribution company. Uh, Leonardo and Ice Porter are both great companies. I don't know if we need another image company to pop up. Um, because we have two great companies to choose from. I think when it comes to the CRSs and PMSs, I don't think it's their first focus is to put content into their systems, especially images. As far as static and dynamic content, in order to fulfill the needs of all the GDSs and the OTAs, all the third parties, it would require a substantial amount of fields um, to be added to the PMSs and CRSs to distribute that content out to all of those channels. I don't think it's the first thing CRS and PMS companies think about or focus on. Um, from a distribution standpoint, we want them to focus on gaining us connected to all booking channels. Um, so I think it's something that we still need to look at it. How can technology better solve for the content conundrum that we're in? Uh, the bigger brands are fortunate enough to have content management systems, but the mid-size and smaller brands don't have that luxury. So I think there's some opportunity from the CRS and PMS space, but it's something from a technology standpoint that we still really need to solve for. Yeah, I couldn't agree with, with Sarah Moore. I mean, definitely there's an opportunity, I think, for PMS companies and CRS companies to be part of the solve, right? I think Leonardo and uh, CG are both, um, you know, great at what they do. There is opportunity for improvement. I think they they have been uh, working through some development opportunities throughout, you know, the last couple of years. But there is opportunity for the conversation to be expansive. So that we, you know, we go, we talk about just beyond images, right? I think we, again, if we compare um, to what you know, what you know, third-party distribution partners are doing out there, they're looking at the ecosystem from a holistic perspective, and I think it's time for our industry to do that. And and whether you're a PMS, you're a CRS, or you're a CMS. Um, <clears throat> or an image distribution partner, I think we need to look at the entire ecosystem of how the consumer is is expecting to, you know, to to book and to shop and to experience, um, you know, a, a, you know, a, a, an opportunity for dreaming of a vacation and then making it, you know, happen. Right. And that's that's where, you know, the, the consumer is not necessarily looking at, you know, making a reservation or dreaming about a vacation um you know in different points of sale they're just looking at it they're looking at the internet <laughs> um whichever way they find their way whether it's in google or an ota or brand.com and then expecting to see the same thing to your point earlier um sarah where I, I think it's time for for the conversation to be inclusive of different types of technology partners 
talking together. And again, you'll hear me say this again, and creating governance, because the last thing we want to do is as suppliers, um, having to, you know, monitor, curate and doing, you know, educate properties on, on, you know, how to provide content that's relevant for the, for the consumer. And then having to understand how, what do we do with it? Now we have it, we collect it. Now, how do I get it to all the different points of sale? It, it has to be more holistic in, in, in the approach that we use as an industry, as opposed to, you know, one partner at a time. How do you feel this can be achieved? Like why, why haven't we been able to do it, to do this yet? I mean, we've, we're, we're an industry that is a very old industry, very established. We, we have a lot of, uh, uh, knowledge out there and we have a lot of new up-and-coming technology providers as well that are delivering really great products so why are we still struggling so much with this in your mind and your opinion i i'm going to say something that's going to be super simple but it's really back to basics i mean we you know if we look back at history there was a time where a long time ago where airlines used to um, you know, bring their CRTs, <laughs> I'm dating myself now, into a, a brick and mortar travel agency, you know, and, you know, until somebody came up with this bright idea and said, wait, wait a minute, why do you have six, seven different airline systems in your, in your agency? There's got to be a better way of doing this, right? And mm. so, um, you know, the airlines came to the table, had a conversation, discussed it, were creative enough for that for their time and created what we all know today as the GDSs, right? Yeah. I think we, it's time we do that again. We need to go back to basics. We need to talk about it. We need to share. We need to open up um, and and have and have you know conversations that, um, frankly, I think they're, you know, they they have they're overdue. They're definitely overdue as as an industry. Sarah, just coming back to you, you might want to comment on that as well, but based on these conversations, I know you personally have been trying to do that. You've been trying to have a lot of that dialogue and conversations and your time obviously with Hedna as well was something that I think you tried to focus on. So why haven't we been able to get there yet? What, what's been the roadblock from your perspective, from your own personal experience? Yeah, other than the meta search working group at Head and I think content was the other working group that the doors were wide open with people in the hallway trying to get in. It's a problem that we all want to solve for the hoteliers, obviously, namely, but I think there's some competition going on, right? Uh, the third parties want to get people to book through their sites, so mm -hmm. they're constantly evolving. I think they have, as Gianna said earlier, they have the money and the technology to evolve quicker. So I think we need to bring the hoteliers and the third parties to the table with the technology providers, but the hoteliers really need to be the ones to drive this. It's a problem that we're dealt with every single day, and we have to drive the solution uh, for this. I know there's other associations that have worked on trying to bring together uh, solutions, and it hasn't been successful. But I think we need to figure out, and it should, I do believe that actually should be, there's many associations in our industry, but one of them needs to drive home the solution for this. And that is bringing all parties together, technology providers, the third party uh, partners and hoteliers to bring solutions to the table. And then finally, uh, speaking of third party providers, in your opinion, Sarah, what are the OTAs doing right? And what are they doing wrong in this area? Well, what they're doing right is investing money, right? They invest a lot of money and technology into this. They have, so I wanna make sure I, I, I divide this up because there are a ton of third-party partners out there. The big ones are the ones that are investing money into this. And they have in many ways simplified it for us. There's no more, you know, fill in the blank where you have to write content. They piece together check boxes and they piece together uh, other data to create room descriptions and things like that for you. They give you content scores so you know how you're placing. They've made it difficult for us in some ways and the fact that they've made the image requirements are quite steep. Um, that requires a huge investment from hoteliers to go out and do expensive photo shoots. Um, but the result is worth it. I understand why they're doing that. Um, but we still have a ton of mid-sized to smaller partners out there that actually still do everything manual. So I have a content team that updates content through email still. 
There's no extra net. Um, so forget automation. You're, you can't even see sometimes your content. You have to ask them for what your content looks like in their system. They send you screenshots and then you, uh, you update it, you know, tell them what to update manually through email. So I think there, there are some OTAs and even the GDSs, they're pretty standard on what they, what they do. They have for a long time that are doing it right. There's other partners that just, when we talk to them, they're just simply not investing. And of course, during COVID, they lost their content teams. And content was the first to go, I think, at property and on the third party side, which it wasn't right, um, but I understand of necessity. So I think we need to bring back the people um, on both sides to help drive for solutions. Okay, and Gianna, do you have anything to add to that? No, I think, you know, that's right on. Technology is the name of the game, right? And um, I think that, you know, third, third party distribution partners have understood the value of mapping, <laughs> the art of distribution. It all comes down to mapping and it's not a very sexy topic. And mm. um, it's not one that, you know, as hoteliers like to speak about because, you know, being a hospitality hospitality entity, you know, you just want to bring customers to 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 stay with you. Um, and that technology mapping stuff doesn't look really, really, really nice. Right. But at the end of the day, it's it's the name of the game, right? It's it's investing in in the right technology to be able to help us tell the story, um, and in doing all that great mapping, which is called, it's called connectivity, um, and uh, and and you know making it come in, come to life for the consumers to come stay at our hotels. So the key points that I took from their import was that there really needs to be some governance put in place to establish standards that technology providers and hoteliers alike can work towards and adhere to. And there needs to be greater collaboration between technology providers to ensure the content and data can be shared across systems with real-time updates to ensure the data is maintained and current. This is a constant theme and it really doesn't matter which systems we're talking about. This collaboration, this cohesion of systems, this sharing of real-time data it's the critical element and finally what role does the crs or the pms provider play in solving content issues in their systems if at all what are the newer pms companies doing on this topic and is it even on their roadmap we do know that a major crs solution on the market has it on their roadmap but as of yet it doesn't solve the issue with their current solution so as again perhaps it does really come down as gianna said to the governance piece thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already check out the article from ann and sarah listen to the podcast where we dive much deeper into this conversation with both gianna and sarah and of course check out the infographic Until until next time, it's bye for now.